While shoes were designed to protect our horses' hooves, they actually have serious negative side effects, such as impaired natural hoof function, joint issues, blood flow and circulation, distorted hoof shape, and so many more. I'm gonna go over some of these so you can understand the negative chain reaction that shoes have on horses. The first thing that happens when a horseshoe is nailed on is that the natural hoof function is immediately impaired because the hoof is now nailed into the contracted position. This is because every time the horse takes a step, the hoof actually expands as the horse steps and contracts as the leg lift. So when the shoe is nailed on, the leg is lifted and the hoof is literally nailed into the contracted position so it's no longer able to expand with each step. Now, why is this so bad? When the hoof is not expanding and contracting with each step, there is seriously reduced blood flow and circulation. This is because with each step that horse is taking, the expansion and contraction is actually making a pumping motion that helps send the blood through the circumflex artery, which is inside the hoof capsule, back up through the heart. So this is not only creating a blood flow issue within the hoof itself, but it's also getting the blood pumped back to the heart much slower and can cause heart problems. Another negative side effect that this has is that the lack of blood flow in the hoof actually starts to numb the hoof, so the horse can't feel. This is why so many times people will say, oh, my horse needs shoes because he's sound with shoes on, and then when I take the shoes off, he gets lame. That's because when the shoe is removed, the blood flow starts again. The expansion and contraction starts again and the horse can begin to feel again and now all those issues that were being masked by the numbness the horse is now feeling so the shoe wasn't really making him sound the shoe was just masking that another ripple effect of the hoof not being able to expand and contract is that the natural shock absorption this provides is diminished Horses are very big animals, and every time they take a step, it puts a lot of pressure on the joints, tendons, and ligaments. The hoof being able to expand can dissipate a lot of this natural pressure, and when there's a shoe in place, it's not able to do that. This will put increasing strain on the joints and soft tissues, and over time can cause arthritis. When a horse has shoes, it is inevitable that the hoof shape will change and become distorted because when that hoof is not able to expand to contract, it's not moving naturally, and then it's not gonna grow naturally as well because it's gonna be pinched. So that's why the most common hoof distortion from shoes is contracted heels. Also, underrun heels is very common. Now, these hoof distortions can happen you know, rather quickly once the horse has shoes, or it can take quite a while. It all depends on how often the horse is shod, um, how the horse was shod, if the horse is young, old, living conditions. There's so many vari variables, but it is inevitable that eventually the hoof will begin to change shape, and sometimes it will happen very quickly. Now, all of the issues I've talked about so far stem from the horse not having proper hoof function, uh, meaning that every single issue I've said so far has happened just because the hoof cannot expand to contract. And the reason I've said so many that have to do with this, it said expand and contract so many times in this video, is just to show how important it is and how just proper hoof function can affect the whole horse's body and the whole horse's health. Now I have three more ways that shoes cause harm to horses' hooves. Number one is thrush. Shoes create the perfect breeding ground for thrush to develop and thrive. This is due to all the dirt and debris and moisture that the shoe traps. Thrush is such a common problem and as a bacteria is very opportunistic. So even in horses without shoes, they are dealing with thrush. And when you put a shoe on there, it just makes it so much easier for thrush to grow. Number two I want to mention is the injuries that horses can get and other horses can get from a horse with shoes. So when a horse is laying down and they have shoes on, it's much easier for them to scrape themselves, scrape their back leg or scrape their front leg um, with the opposite leg or cut themselves on the belly from the shoe itself. And this can need the, cause the horse to need stitches or even just having to deal with this cut. Um, Horses playing in a pasture together or bucking, kicking, and what normally would just be play fighting can cause a serious injury if there's a shoe there instead of just a hoof. The third way that shoes could be harmful to horses that has nothing to do with expansion and contraction is actually 
traction. <laughs> and I didn't want to leave this one out because this one can be dangerous, not just to the horse, but to you as the rider as well. Now, barefoot horses have amazing natural traction and they have an amazing ability to adapt to all different kinds of terrains. Whereas a horse with shoes, the ground's gonna be much more slick. The shoe is much more slick itself, especially on any kind of ice or uneven footing. And also a reason that this is so extreme is because the hoof the, or the horse cannot actually feel the ground because the shoe's there. The hoof is not making that ground contact. And so the horse is not gonna be as sure of himself. The horse is not gonna be as confident. Uh, this is gonna cause the horse to be much more likely to slip and fall, possibly injuring himself and you as the rider. I hope this video was informative. There are actually many more ways that shoes can be detrimental to horse and rider, but these are just the ones I wanted to go over today. I hope this video was informative. There are many more ways that shoes can be harmful to horses, but these are the ones I wanted to go over today. Please subscribe if you found it helpful and if you want to learn more all about barefoot hoof trimming and hoof care in general.